In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit and control the custom widgets, the custom bone shapes that Rigify generates automatically for you. And that is really, really not difficult. Now, I just released uh, videos about how to align custom bone shapes in general in Blender, not just for Rigify, but for any rig. And I think that may be useful for some of you. If you want to know more about that, I'm going to put a link in the description. Also, if you're not yet familiar with Rigify, which is an auto-rigging system for Blender, then I also have some more basic videos that you may want to check out. Again, the link will be in the description, but assuming that you know how to work with Rigify, here is how you can control uh, the custom bone shapes. Here I have a meta rig. I'm going to quickly generate it, pair out my character with automatic weights, and hide the meta rig. And as you can see, Rigify created these shapes that uh, help me control my character easily. And generally they are quite nicely aligned with your character. They are usually ready to use, but sometimes you may want to improve them or change them a little bit to be more to your liking. And that is easy to do. When you clicked generate, Rigify also created this widgets uh, collection that is hidden by default. Now, if you're using the default Blender settings, you may not see this screen icon here. By default, Blender hides this viewport setting. If you want to show it, uh, click this funnel icon and enable the, the screen. And then you'll be able to unhide your widgets like this. And, and when you click this icon, you'll see some uh, dotted lines appear in your rig, some uh, other lines, which may be confusing, but it's really simple. This collection, the widgets collection, was hiding shapes that are perfectly aligned with the default pose of your character when you generate it. So here I selected the uh, pelvis control, or rather the shape, the widget for this control. If I click again in this uh, same area, I'm going to select the rig. And if I click again, I'll have the uh, shape selected. Then I can go to edit mode, select all vertices, and for example, scale on the Z axis make this shape bigger. I can do any mesh editing that I like, and that will be immediately reflected in my custom shape. If I now go to object mode and hide the widgets, you'll see that this actual uh, shape that I use for the pelvis control, or rather for the torso control, is already edited. Okay, I'm going to unhide the widgets again. There are a couple of things that you may want to tweak. First, if you don't like these dotted lines, you can remove them by unticking relationship lines under overlays. Once you're done, you may want to turn it back on. I'm going to turn it back on right away. Uh, another thing is, if I just select this WGTS underscore rig object that I see here, and then move it to the side, you'll see that all of my widgets move to the side. So all widgets are parented to this object here which allows me to easily offset the whole collection of widgets any way I like. Now it is easier to select uh, my shapes. Here I see that some of the spine controls are kind of overlapping with the geometry of my character. So I can select all of them, go to edit mode, uh, maybe switch to individual origins and scale them up. And immediately they'll be scaled up in the rig. Same thing in the arm. I may want this uh, circle to be a little bit bigger so it's easier to select. The arm IK as well. Maybe I want this, these color bones to show a little bit better. Here I'm only editing the widgets, not the actual bones. So the function, the rotation of the bones won't change. Okay, maybe I want to extrude a shape that covers the whole face. And there we go. My shape actually has polygons in it, which is not a good idea in general, but I'm just showing you that you can edit your shapes any way you like. And that's pretty much it. With one small exception, there is only one thing that you uh, may want to keep in mind if you're messing with your meta rig a lot, if you're experimenting and generating and regenerating a lot then you may uh, run into some interesting problems. Uh, I'm going to unhide my meta rig, select it, go to pose mode, select the arm, and change the rig type from super limp to simple tentacle, for example. 
and then I'm going to just generate the rig. All right. Now, when I regenerate it, there are a couple of things to note. First, notice that the shapes that I edited were preserved. They did, they did not change. But here is a little problem. The arm widgets that I used to have are still here. And the simple tentacle widgets are also in this area. And it may be difficult to understand which is which. So in this case, I can guess that this is the simple tentacle widget and I may be able to edit it, but it is a little bit confusing. So what you could do is go to the meta rig and on the rigify buttons, expand the advanced options. By the way, the rigify presets, you may not have it. It's an add-on for rigify which makes saving your meta rigs, your custom meta rigs, very easy. I did talk about this uh, feature in another video, and I'm also going to link to it in the description. But anyway, when you expand the advanced options, if you tick force widget update and then generate, then all of the widgets that you edited will be regenerated. But also any widgets that are not in use anymore will be deleted. So here, uh, as you can see, the arm widgets in this area disappeared and we now only have the super tentacle widgets. Okay, there is just one minor detail that I want to show you. If I change this arm to a super co copy, the super copy has this uh, widget checkbox. If it is checked, then a circular widget will be uh, created at the base of this bone. If it is unchecked, then a more boxy widget will be created that kind of follows the shape of the bone. Now I'm going to keep it on and generate. And here is the widget. You know, again, I can edit it any way I like. Now if I go back to the meta rig and untick widget and generate, in some cases, the new widget for the Super copy is not updated, even if you have this force widget update uh, option on. And here I also uh, ran into a very rare error that I haven't seen so far. I think it has something to do with the fact that I moved this parent. So I'm going to press Alt G to move it back and see if, if regenerating will fix that error. And it doesn't. So here is what you could do. Just right click on the widgets collection and choose delete hierarchy. Then go back to your meta rig. You can uncheck force widget update or leave it on. It doesn't matter because we don't have any widgets. So Rigify will be forced to create a new widgets collection. Okay, if I hide the character, you'll be able to see this um, boxy widget that was created. So here I'll start from a new Blender scene and I'll show you this problem with the super copy widget not updating. I'm going to create a new single bone, go to pose mode, make it a super copy, generate the rig, go back to the meta rig, untick widget, generate again and the widget doesn't change. I can go to advanced options, try to use the force widget update and generate again. And again, the widget does not update. If I right click and delete the whole hierarchy of widgets and then generate again, the widget will finally change its shape. Okay, if I tick it again and try to generate, it won't change. But if I unhide the whole collection, widget collection, select this widget's parent and move it a little bit to the side, and then generate again, then the shape will be updated. So there are two solutions. One is to delete the whole hierarchy. The other one is to move this widget parent. However, watch out for that error that we encountered. So that's it. I hope you learned something. Being able to edit the custom shapes of your Rigify rig may come in handy and it is very, very easy to do. So I hope you'll find this useful. If you did, please click like and subscribe and see you in the next video.